Okay, we're here at the Belfry testing hybrids today. This is Ping's slightly strange looking G15 hybrid that's been out for a year or so. Um, does fantastically well in the test, we'll go and see how we get on with it. Okay, we've just had a bash with Ping's slightly unconventional G looking G15 hybrid. Mate, um, could you get past the looks of it? Well, that's what you have to do with this club, is get past the looks. Um, because when you pick it up off a shelf or out of a bag, the looks are going to put you off um, initially. There, there's no getting away from that. But you've got to get past that, get out onto the range, hit it. Mm. You'll see it's designed this way for a reason. There's a lot of offset, there's a lot of weight in the toe. Um, and that basically means that you can hit it higher, you can hit it further. There's a lot more forgiveness built in here. Um, Angel Cabrera, one of Ping's staff players, uh, they tried to get him to use it uh, last year um, w when it first came out. He initially didn't want to because of the looks, but he persevered with it and it eventually ended up in his bag. You can't get much more of a ringing endorsement than that, uh, a G15 uh, hybrid being in the bag of a, a US Masters winner. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, like Dave said, it's not just for, for tour players, it is for game improvers. And if you if you do suffer with that killer fade, that card wrecking fade, um, this is definitely going to straighten you out. That weight in the tail will help bring it back around a little bit and uh, and compensate for your uh, for your swing flaws.